I love reading and listening to books, but getting hold of the latest books can be a real challenge for me being here in Poland. And in fact, this has been even more relevant for me, taking some part-time courses and trying to get hold of academic books where the ebook version could be $20 to $50 for the ebook version alone. So six years ago or so, I came across a service and I've been paying for it ever since called Scribd or Scribd, as my dad calls it, which is basically a Netflix for books. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you what this service is and why I like it, as well as some things I don't like about it. And finally, a couple of alternatives that you might want to consider. So let's dive in. Script is a web app and mobile app that gives you access to books, ebooks, magazines, book summaries, and uploaded documents from the community. In fact, that final point, the uploaded documents, that's how it started as a service. People could upload a PDF and share it with people. And unfortunately, that became a place where copyright was violated a lot. But since then, Scribd has changed into the service where you pay a monthly fee, and you can get access to their entire library of books and audio books, magazines, summaries. Oh, and also sheet music as well for you musicians out there. Now, I came across it because I was studying for my diploma in English language teaching and I needed to get hold of some academic books, but we didn't have a library with them in Krakow. And also, uh, there wasn't an online library service that I could use for it. So I paid for the service, and I've been paying for it ever since. And now, with my part-time biblical studies courses, uh, in my last module when I was studying the theology of worship, three out of my five core books were on script, and the two that weren't, I bought one because I wanted a copy of it, and the other one I could get from the library service. Now, Scribd was far superior than the library service of my institution because it didn't have this time limit and it was a much more enjoyable reading experience than just using it there. And there's also the benefit that I get access to the latest business books that I might want to read and I can listen to those books in audiobook form as well. The library in Scribd is really impressive. It has this massive collection of the latest books so that if there is a topic that you're interested in, if it's academic studies or if it's just general interest fiction as well, then you're likely to be able to find it there. And as I say, if you are the kind of person like me who enjoys listening to books from time to time as well when you're out walking, then Scribd has got you covered there too. It also integrates with Readwise and so you can take your highlights from books that you're listening to and bring them over into a personal knowledge management tool. And I think this is a good point to change to the not so good parts of Scribd. The Readwise integration isn't as sophisticated as something like the Kindle to Readwise automatic persistent integration. Instead, you have to go to your highlights page in Scribd and then you have to use a JavaScript booklet to download a file which you then upload and tag correctly in script. So it's a lot more finicky than just having this automatic connect it once and it's done system that most of Readwise has or other systems for integrating your notes into your personal knowledge management system. Another problem that I think is uh, an issue is that I just don't think the reading interface is as good as something like the Kindle interface. Now, don't get me wrong, it's improved a lot over the last couple of years. And in fact, just before this video, I tried to work out exactly what it is that I find worse about this reading experience. And I can't exactly put my finger on it. I did notice that the app is a bit less responsive when scrolling through from side to side, um, but it does seem a lot better than it was in the past. And the improvements in highlighting have come a long way. It used to be this terrible highlighting experience, and now in the last year, it's really improved. So perhaps 
this is a negative past impression I've had that has carried through, but still I think uh, that Kindle does offer a better reading experience, at least on the iPad. The library also isn't conclusive. Some of the latest books aren't there, and some books are geo-bound as well, so you won't be able to get them there. Some authors also just never want to take part in this system, and so they won't put their books on Scribd at all. So you might have to use an alternative service like Apple Books, Google Play Books, or, or Amazon Books as well, in addition to Scribd, to make sure that you can get all of the books that you want. And so for those reasons, I tend to prefer actually if I can buy a book on a discount uh, for Kindle, then I'll buy that so that I can get those automatic imports of highlights. Also, some books sometimes are taken away from Scribd or come back on for a short period of time. Now, this can actually be a kind of a feature because you've got a limited time to read the book. You have to get through it in that time and the, or else it's gone. Uh, but it can also lead to the issue where you read a book, you enjoyed it, you want to perhaps reference something again later, now it's gone, it's not in the system, you can't read it again, you can't check your note. So for those reasons, I, I quite prefer buying a book on Kindle if it's cheap, because then I will get the highlights within Kindle, which automatically go to Readwise and then Obsidian. Plus also, I know that I have a copy later on that I can return to. I don't have to worry about it suddenly disappearing or me stopping my subscription for a while. Speaking of the subscription, the cost is about around $10. It varies a bit. I think it was $8.99 in the past. Now it's about $9.99. Also, I'm paying in a different currency, so I don't know the exact figure. There are some alternatives to Script. One is, of course, Amazon Unlimited, which is ironic because the library of Amazon Unlimited is actually very limited. Scribd has definitely a far wider and more broad library than you'll find in Amazon Limited. Unlimited. A couple of other alternatives are the more academic options, which have a higher price but will get you access to even more academic books. As I said, I don't have much of a problem finding the academic books that I want within Scribd. So it's not such a feature for me, these alternatives, plus I get all these other books and audiobooks as well within Scribd. So for me, that's a great win. If you're interested in checking Scribd out, I have put my referral link below. Now this referral link will get you 60 days instead of 30 days at free trial for Scribd. And it will also give me 30 days free if you use it. Of course, you can just go straight to the website and sign up there and not use the referral link and then you'll have fewer days. I won't have three days. Scribd gets more money, I guess. So no problem with that. Um, but I would love to know if you check it out, if you use it already, or if you use some alternative service and what you think of it. So there are comments below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you.